the array tomography ultramicrotome by RMC Beckler, also known as the atom tome, is capable of collecting hundreds to thousands of sections on a continuous tape, uninterrupted. In this video, we will show all the components that make up the system, how they interact with one another, and how easy the atom tome is to use. The atom system includes the atom 306 tape collection unit, the power tome ultramicrotome, which precisely sections a wide range of samples, the water pump, which enables automatic replenish of water in the diamond trough, the PC controller, which controls the atom and the power tome, and a TMC anti-vibration table with a dedicated atom rail that protects the ultramicrotome from building vibrations. The atom tome system is delivered with an ergonomic laboratory chair. The chair allows the user to increase and lower their height and is made with quality materials. An environmental chamber which houses the ultramicrotome to prevent gusts of air including air conditioning vents from disturbing the sectioning. A room temperature 35 degree 4 mm diamond knife which has a large trough to allow plenty of room to position the atom. An air compressor for the anti-vibration table in case house air cannot be supplied. The portable air compressor is quiet enough to be placed next to the table. And finally, a static line ionizer which allows sections to easily leave the knife edge and get picked up by the atom. The anti-vibration table is needed to cut thousands of sections uninterrupted. The middle of the table is dampened using trademark gimbal pistons. The two shells on either side allows the user space for lab equipment without interfering with the sectioning. The PC features a high definition video package with a 21.5 inch touchscreen control interface. It has the software to control the ultramicrotome and atom already built in. The PC combined with the ultramicrotome's lighting system makes trimming the block easy for anyone to use. Simply touch the screen for the measuring system and move the X and Y axis cursors for the size of your block. On the right side, you can even state the depth you wish to cut by simply entering it on the box and pressing cut. On the trim tab, the user can also enter a depth to which to trim by simply entering the depth, section thickness, and cut speed. Due to the evaporation and water picked up by the tape, the diamond trough constantly needs replenishing. Fortunately, the water pump automatically and touch-free adds the right amount every time. To set up the water pump, simply place the syringe in place, lock it, and bring the bar over. Then place the end of the tubing with the lure lock on the syringe, and the side with the filler tube on the stage. The Atom is a unique and easy to learn tape collection system. Developed in Harvard University, the Atom is making a footprint in the scientific community due to its addition to whole neuron 3D reconstruction. The Atom components work as follows. The lower cylinder is used to place the blank supply tape reel. Here, special SEM tape like Kapton and carbon nanotube can be used. The lower pinch roller controls the speed of the atom by sensing the cut speed and retract speed. The potentiometer has multiple functions. First, it provides tension to avoid a sloppy tape. The potentiometer also reads when a supply reel has run out of tape. When there is no more tape, the potentiometer will drop. When there is a jam in the atom, the potentiometer will lift up. In either case, the green running light on the atom will begin blinking red. This will stop all movement of the atom and ultramicrotome, protecting the atom system and sample. The collection head gets submerged underwater in the diamond knife trough. 
the tape will roll through the surface and will collect the sections as they roll off of the diamond knife edge. Like the lower pinch roller, the upper pinch roller controls the speed of the atom tape and makes adjustments when it senses the lower pinch roller has changed. Once the tape has finished collecting sections, they are rolled on the take up reel. This motor runs a bit faster than the speed of the atom to provide constant tension. Once ready to use the atom, simply slide it in front of the power tome, lock it, lower the collection head, and make micro adjustments using the X, Y, and Z micrometers. To make connections, go to the Setup tab and under Atom Setup, simply click Set. A dialog box will say Ready to Use. Be sure to run the pinch rollers forward and backwards to make sure they are communicating. Making a report is easy using the PC. Simply make a specimen or select one from the drop menu. Enter the thickness and specimen temperature if you wish. Then make a new knife. The drop downs have common diamond knife manufacturers. You can also select a previously used knife. The PC will display how many times a selected segment on the knife has been used. Back at the PC page, one will have the option to select the specimen, knife, and knife segment again. Then select Make a Report. And either select a previous report or make a new one. The user may also add comments about the report. Select OK and start cutting. The collection head, which has the tape running on top of it, is submerged slightly below the water surface. The collection head's distance from the knife edge is placed about 1.5 times the length of the sample block. For example, a block that is 1 mm will have the collection head about 1.5 mm away from the knife edge. This way, the section that is cut pushes the last section. The section pushed then will be picked up by the tape. This allows one section at a time to be picked up. Once done sectioning and want to retrieve the report information, head over to the Report tab and select the Report of Interest. Here, information including the section thickness, number of cuts, section speed, and knife manufacturer and segment and other information is displayed. The report can then be printed or saved as a PDF. When done sectioning, the Atom workstation makes it easy to place tape onto silicone wafers. It was designed to prepare tape for 100 mm diameter wafers. Use the overhead light and tape stencil to cut the tape and place them onto the wafers. The silicone wafer can then be placed in the SCM and beautiful 3D reconstructions can be made.